hello world and all who inhabit it uh still mainly just me this is another segment in the ninja's world project and i am ninja so i feel like that makes me pretty qualified to be your host here today but if i get too tired at any point in time i'll go ahead and let let you know uh pass over the talking spoon you know cuz i don't want to hog all the attention here uh i think this is a collaborative effort and uh you matter too so uh i don't ever want you to forget that aha so uh last time we did some exploring over on our starter shore uh, down below the depths and that was pretty fun I said uh, that my goal for this episode slash log slash segment was to do the same thing but over on the surface um, and good news for you and for me I already did that yep I, uh, I did it all off camera so uh, mission accomplished episode complete uh yeah thanks for watching i will see you when i see you next time uh no uh but for real i did record uh, another episode or about half an episode's worth of content um where i was doing just that exploring uh roughly like five thousand blocks to the north and then 5,000 blocks to the south. And I started to watch it back, and I realized that even for me, it wasn't that interesting. Um, I think I was kind of tired when I originally recorded it, so my commentary wasn't super lively. I was just kind of saying things like, oh, look at that tree over there. You know, look at that village over there. Look at this forest here. Um, and that went on for about 20 to 30 minutes, uh, so even cutting it up, I thought, you know, maybe maybe nobody would be missing out if I just cut this whole thing entirely. Uh, instead, I'm going to pivot to something else today uh, that I was thinking of doing a little bit later on, uh, but instead I'm just going to move it up. Uh, and then towards the end, if, if time permits, I'm going to head back that way and just show off specific points of interest that I think are pretty cool. Yeah, I got blown up while watching the test recording again. Cause why not? Yeah, so before starting today's video, I really had two big goals in mind. Uh, the first was that I wanted to get at least a stack of every wood type and then a couple saplings so that I could build a tree farm over on the main island. Uh, and then the second thing was that I wanted to find a swamp. So as you can see here, I did just that. Um, and I've spent the last few nights camped out over here, uh, just fishing during the day and uh, killing slimes by night. They call me uh, Jimmy Slimefish around these parts. Um, as you may or may not know, you probably don't know. I've never told anybody and uh, nobody uh, has ever actually uh, said that to my face, but um, I think if, if anybody ever saw me doing what I do around here, they'd, they'd call me that, so uh, that's my guess anyway. Uh, but yeah, I got a couple stacks of slime balls so far, and that's pretty cool because now I have some more freedom to do uh, some redstone stuff with pistons that I didn't really have the ability to do before, and that's going to help me a lot to make cool things in the upcoming episodes. Uh, the other thing that's pretty interesting uh, is this guy over here. Uh, it looks like I found a mangrove biome, and this is the first one I've ever seen before. I uh, haven't really played the game since these were added in an update, uh, and I actually completely forgot the two newest wood types when I originally set the goal of getting a stack of every wood, uh, right? So I was able to do that with um, 
most of the old wood types, but I actually forgot to get a stack of mangrove wood and a stack of cherry blossom wood, I think, is the newest one that was added. Uh, so this is kind of a happy accident here that I found this. I'm just gonna uh, record me checking it out for the first time and then uh, probably grab a stack of the wood type and maybe some saplings so I can grow some of these trees back home. I'm hoping this doesn't uh, lag my frames like a jungle typically does but I feel like it might so if it does please bear with me there actually is a jungle like right next to this biome as well so it's not a good sign this is an interesting block huh I wonder if they have to specifically be planted on this I would assume maybe so. I think these trees are different uh, from other trees in the game in that uh, these propagules right here are actually the things that I think you need to plant to grow the tree. Uh, they don't drop saplings like other trees do, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I'll have to look into it for sure. Huh. I'm guessing this is the wood type, but it's not turning into planks, so maybe not. Is there a different type of wood up above? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the wood type. I'm not sure what these roots are necessarily used for. These trees are definitely super different than any other tree in the game. kind of cool that moss naturally generates here as well. I wasn't sure if you needed a special tool to pick that up or not, but it seems like just anything works pretty well. As far as I know, there's no specific structures. Uh, there's just kind of a bunch of wood and mud. <gasps> oh, oh snap. <gasps> Oh man, guys, I really like frogs. Oh, this is so cool. Can I pick it up? No, okay. <laughs> you cannot pick them up in a bucket. Oh man, I really want to take one back with me, but I don't think it's going to be possible on this trip. Maybe I can get him in my boat? Oh, I'm really starting to lose frames over here. I think it's because these vines are all growing at the same time. Um, and the block updates all around me are killing my frames. Once they grow to full length, I'll probably be okay. But yeah, right now, this is rough. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a like white cream-colored frog. I didn't know they came in this color. This is super cool. Oh, man. Oh, there's more. There's a family of them. Oh, wow. I really like that they added these guys to the game. Yeah, if they never do anything else with this biome again, uh, it's, uh, it's a sweet change. New wood type and, and frogs. Yeah, my frames are just absolutely dying. My computer's on fire right now. I need to head back home. Oh man, that was so sad. I'm not even gonna lie, I died back there. <laughs> I thought I could do it. I decided to risk it and I thought I could do it. I thought I could take a frog 9,000 blocks across the ocean back here to the starter shore. And it was going good for some time. About 2,000 blocks, I'd say. Oh man, it was going so good. We hit the iceberg biome, and that was no issue. We were just skating right across the ice, and uh, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> a polar bear came out of nowhere and attacked us. Oh, it was so sad. I just barely, barely got away in the nick of time. And uh, there was a drowned right there with the trident. He impaled me. Oh, it was just such a series of unfortunate events. I was 
so bummed. I'm not even going to lie. I was so bummed. I uh, had to log out for a while and just cool off. <laughs> um, yeah, I lost everything. I lost all my diamond tools. I lost all the wood I gathered. I lost all the slime. I spent so much time gathering. I had to get it all again. Uh, I still haven't even got my tools back. Oh, it was so sad. But I was not going to let it keep me down. No, not at all. I went back and I got a nether frog. <laughs> and I brought this one back. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I don't even know what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know what I'm going to name it. Um, but... I, I have big plans, big plans for this frog. I spent so much time and effort to have it here. Uh, for now, I just have it chilling in this boat. I've been messing around with the cow farm a little bit more because it's still really not quite working exactly how I would like it to. Um, for whatever reason, all these guys up here are just suffocating every time I try to breed them. And I originally thought that it was these blocks that might have been suffocating them so I replaced everything that they were kind of eye level with with glass um, but it's still happening it helped a little bit but it's still happening so now I'm just thinking that they're suffocating on each other um, and it's n not like it doesn't work at all I mean some of the babies do fall down here and uh, when they do uh, it works just fine. I mean, like, it cooks the meat, um, but look how much raw beef is also making it down here. And that's just from these guys getting suffocated up here, and then the meat falls down without getting cooked. Uh, it's a pretty big issue. I don't know. Um, I think there's maybe, like, one of two things I could do about it, and I'm not really sure which route I want to take quite yet. I could either uh, probably do the more efficient thing and just make these tanks up top bigger um, by like a block or two. I could probably extend them this way and just have the water still uh, facing into this uh, middle tank right here. Uh, otherwise I could uh, have all of this uh, raw meat being funneled into uh, an item filter and then an automatic smelter uh, which would then feed into a, another chest down below uh, which seems more fun <laughs> uh, less efficient but more fun so I'm not sure what I want to do so I guess we have another pet now uh, I didn't realize it at the time but while I was fixing the stone bricks over here, there was a small leak and some of the babies escaped. I'm guessing one of them got underneath my door. Uh, and then once he was in here, he probably grew up. So now he's too big to fit back through and he got himself stuck. I guess he could probably jump out the window if he wanted. But I don't think he's smart enough to figure that out. So I did pretty well. I got uh, most of the wood variants. I think I still need to get a stack of each of the nether variants. And then I completely forgot that the cherry blossoms were at added to the game so I still need to find those as well but I was able to get a bunch of saplings and that's the main thing that I was trying to do uh, because my new plan for today is to build a tree farm to more efficiently harvest uh, all the different kinds of wood uh, so hopefully once I do that I can finish up this starter house and make it eh, at least somewhat safe it's uh, not super functional at the moment I'd like to at least get a roof up on it and maybe put in some windows. Uh, so I think I want to build it underground. That way it'll let me control 
uh, what level the ceiling's at pretty easily. Uh, that way I don't end up with any of these super big trees that are really annoying to chop down. I made a small setup here so that I could see all the different kinds of doors and trap doors. Uh, still have a spot open for the three different kinds that I still have yet to obtain. Uh, I think there's probably uh, an eleventh spot uh, for bamboo. I'm pretty sure that turns into a door as well. Uh, so it might count, but I'm gonna set up a whole different bamboo farm later, so I'm not really worried about that at the moment. I just want to try uh, planting a sapling on each of these pieces of dirt so that I can take note of how tall roughly uh, each of these trees grows on average uh, and that will kind of let me know how tall I need to make the roof of the of the farm. It's not going to be anything super special but I want to make it right underneath uh, the starter house here. Yeah, so it looks like ideally we're gonna have the oak and the birch trees anywhere from like five to seven blocks tall. Um, and then a little bit taller we got the acacia and the pine trees over here. Um, and I think ideally these are gonna grow anywhere from like nine to 11 blocks tall. Uh, then we got the jungle trees over here at a whopping 13 blocks tall, uh, which is uh, pretty good in my opinion. Uh, the mangrove tree, which I honestly did not expect to grow in the condition that we had it, uh, actually did. Um, and that's coming in at around uh, 12 or 13 blocks tall as well. Um, but this one's kind of weird just because it's so wide compared to the rest. I actually had to take the other trees further out here because uh, this guy is taking up so much space. So I think I might need to do a whole separate section for the mangrove trees uh, later on. This guy I can't get to grow as a single tree. I think they might need to be in a bunch of four to have them grow at all, uh, which I wasn't sure about. I was kind of hoping I could just do the single one, but, um, hmm. Now the bunch of four isn't growing either. Is there enough roof space here? It seems like there should be. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh huh. So yeah, looks like this one's gonna come out to be about nine to ten bucks tall as well. Um, but it looks like you do specifically need to have all four of them together in order to make it grow. We are back in the sewers. Uh, feels more cozy down here. I quite like it, um, but this is what I'm thinking so far, uh, as far as the tree farm. I started digging out this 9x9 nine nine, uh, square for uh, quite a while. I'm still going to keep it going. Uh, a little bit further, but I'm taking a break right now. I just planted some trees down the middle to see if this is going to work. Uh, and it looks like it's going to work just fine. I uh, tried most of them. I got some pine trees, some acacia, a bunch of birch. I think there's yeah one jungle tree right here. 
I didn't plant any oak, uh, but I I know those ones will work, so I didn't really think it was necessary. But the farm isn't going to be too complicated. I'm just going to continue this strip down for uh, as far as I think I want to take it. And then I'm going to replace this whole bottom layer with mud blocks. Uh, because the cool thing about those is that trees are able to grow on them. But you can also put hoppers beneath them so that any items that fall down will get sucked right on through. Um... So I'm going to put a layer of mud blocks at the bottom that makes it so I can plant trees pretty much wherever I want. And below that, I'm going to have a rail track that uh, covers this whole distance and put a minecart hopper or two uh, going throughout it just so that we can pick up all the drops without having to wait for them. Um, and then that will make it so I can just run right down the middle with a enchanted axe later on and get wood really easy that way. Uh, yeah, so I'm getting kind of tired. I think I'm probably going to call it here. It's been about 20 minutes, so that feels like a fairly good length to uh, make this segment. I didn't really do as much as I planned to do today. I was hoping to get this all dug out and uh, hopefully get the track down below laid out but I'm just so exhausted. I, um, I really need to get an enchantment set up going, so I, uh, I might take a detour and do that first. Otherwise, I'm gonna finish this up off camera because I don't think the rest of it will really be that interesting. I'm just gonna go ahead and show it off when it's finished, so. Until we meet again, uh, thanks for checking this out, if you are, and uh, if you're not, that'd be super weird, because you're, uh, you're here, right? Are you not? Are you not here? I don't know. I'm not here. I, what is here? Are any of us really here? What is, what is life, right? I see you. I can. I can see you.